Let's turn to Siri. We wanted to make Siri able to do much more for you. And we're doing that with a new feature we call Shortcuts. So Siri Shortcuts replaced the workflow app that Apple purchased in 2017. And it basically lets you run chain of actions. Now, while you can always create your own Siri Shortcut, which we do encourage, but we did the heavy lifting for you and found some really hidden gems. So whatever we're waiting for, let's check out some of the new Siri Shortcuts. Let's begin. I love Spotify and even though it isn't available in India, I use a VPN to get it. But there is one small problem. It doesn't work hands-free on iPhone. But with the new Siri shortcut, you can use it to play Spotify music without touching your phone. Now let me show you how. Hey Siri, search Spotify. And then just say the name of your song. And voila, wasn't it simple? Now, while I'm mostly an audible guy, but I do grab a hard copy every once in a while. And before I do that, I have the habit of looking at its good rate rating. That said, here's how this shortcut will help. So it scans the barcode of a book and extract the UPC, which it later searches on Goodread website. It's a great feature, but in our hands-on experience, it doesn't work quite well. So you might expect a delay. It is surprising to see Google Maps has finally come on Apple CarPlay. Anyway, if I would like to use Google Maps with Siri shortcut, I would just have to call up Siri and tell her to take me home and it will open Google Maps with the direction to my home address. Now this one is a game changer. We all know how restrictive Apple ecosystem is. When it comes to iOS, you either need to jailbreak your device or use third-party shady websites. But with this new shortcut, previously known as the Workflow SMD 3.5, you can download most of all the social media content like from YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want. Say I would like to save this video, it has to be public by the way, then simply click on the share button and copy the URL. Now go back to the shortcut app and click on it. And now if you paste the link on the shortcut app, it will automatically grab the video link and ask you the format that you want to download in and then save it on your camera roll. Pretty neat, right? However, they do rely on external API. So we are not sure how long they are going to work, but as of now, they work flawlessly. Real. So one annoying thing about WhatsApp is you first have to add the number in your contact list. Only then you will be able to send a WhatsApp message. Sure, it makes sense from a privacy standpoint, but nonetheless, it's irritating. So thanks to this shortcut, I can just run this and type in the number and then start a WhatsApp thread. You don't have to save any number, which makes sense if I'm not going to be in touch with them in future. Every now and then we come across an Instagram post that catches our eye and we would like to save that image. But the native save image option on Instagram, it's just a glorified bookmark option. You can't forward that image or save it in your camera roll. But with this shortcut, you can simply download an Instagram picture on your camera roll. Just copy the image URL and then run the script. And voila, there you go. Now this one is for all the American bros out there. So whenever you are dining out, most of you have to use the calculator app just to find out how much should you tip. Usually 10 to 20% is reasonable. So using this shortcut, you can easily calculate the tip. Simply enter the amount and select the percentage. And there you go. Sure, you can always ask Siri as well, but that would be rude, right? And if you are an Indian, well you can always use it to calculate a GST. Okay, let's be fair, not everyone uses iPhone in India. Most of us have an Android smartphone and they are pretty good. But there's one particular feature in iPhone which beats Android. Sorry about that. And well, that is slow motion videos. But you can only watch it on your iPhone. If you try to share that video on an Android, well, it won't remain a slow motion video. So with the help of this shortcut, you can simply run a script like this one and it will save the slow motion video with its actual frame rate, which you can later send it to your Android friends.
If you are like me who order everything on Amazon, then this shortcut is for you. So every once in a while when I'm out doing a weekly shopping, I would find an item in the store and would like to check its price on Amazon first and manually search for the product. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. Instead, with this shortcut, you can simply point your camera and then it will scan the QR or the barcode of the product and open the Amazon page of the product. How cool is that? And finally, the most hilarious one in the list. So this shortcut won't stop the bullets coming at you, but it can come in handy when you are in not so friendly neighborhood. So running this script will do a series of functions that would help you when you encounter a cop or bad cop I should say. So first it turns the brightness to minimum, then activate do not disturb mode. Then it proceeds to send a pre-programmed text message to your emergency contact with your current location. And the best part is it automatically begins to record a video and send it to your emergency contact as well. Now it may sound like a stretch, but it can be helpful in some situation, which I hope you never have to encounter. So these are some of my favorite Siri shortcuts. It might seem a bit complicated at first, but once you get your hands dirty, it's easier. So anyway, let me know which is your favorite shortcut in the comment section below. And yes, if you have made your own shortcut, also share us below. Like always, it's Manal signing off. I will see you in the next one.